Okay, so here we are in the definition of our new uh, field function. So according to the formula, which I'll leave at the bottom corner there, oh, you can't, keeps disappearing, but it's um, pressure, so I'll put a bracket, pressure, then I'll press tab, and that'll sort of complete the thing. Pressure minus, and then the P, the free stream pressure, P infinity that I recorded earlier, was minus 8.7 something, so it's plus 8.739348 times 10 to the minus 2, uh, sorry, minus 1. Okay, so that's the numerator, and in the denominator we have um, the stagnation pressure minus that P infinity as well. So the uh, stagnation pressure, which I recorded, was 1.295536 times 10 to the 2. And then minus, or it's going to become plus again, minus, minus. So it'll just become plus that again. OK. And we'll press OK. So now we've created a new field function. So basically a new field that changes in every location. So here I can select it, pressure coefficient. And now you can see the coefficient ranges from approximately minus 2 to 1. So I can sort of do an initial comparison. If I look at the range of pressure coefficients, it's, uh, you know, roughly between 1 and minus 2 as well. So that's a good sign. Um, okay, so um, so now we've actually got to put it into a tabular form like this, or sorry, a, a plot form. So um, uh, to do that, the first thing we'll do is actually make the plot. So if I go to plot, where was it? Let's close some of these up. Make it neater. If I go to plots here, right click, new plot, XY plot. And so the X type is the distance. And yes, in this case it's the the one zero zero means it's in the X axis. X one zero zero Y and Z. Um and uh we also need to set the um, okay so something we need to tell the program is at what point you want to actually um, get that plot out of so we need to tell it somehow it's got to go along the center line of the truck so um, for that we'll make a new derived part uh, first I'll change the scene so I can see something uh, actually yeah, we'll, we'll just use this, isn't it? So, uh, basically it's where this section intersects the surface. That's where we want to plot. So, um, so in parts here, we'll choose um, plane section. Oh wait, hang on. No, sorry, we've got we've to make a new, um, a new section. So, let's deselect this first. Okay. Now we'll go up to the derived parts, make a new section, uh, plane section as well. Uh, the y-axis is 1 and the x-axis is 0, like so. And, um, and uh, what I'm going to do, instead of choosing region as the part, I'm only going to select, uh, not the entire region, I just want the surface where the truck is the surface of the truck. So, and I'll press create and close. And now um, I'll rename this as truck surface. And as you can see with that pink line, it's um, correctly, it's just chosen the surface of the truck. So that's what I'll use to make my plot. I'll rename this now as um, truck surface. Uh, section.